Hi, this is James again from the 11 Plus Tutors. Um, this video is mainly aimed at year five students who are about to take their exam in September, but also um, highly able and advanced year fours that understand angles may still get benefit from this video tutorial. So today what I'm gonna do is look at this idea of composite angles. So before we get to this lesson normally, we teach kids that there are 100 degrees on a straight line, there are 360 degrees in a full circle, there are 180 degrees as a total of all the internal angles in a triangle. And we also go into things like quadrilaterals have 360 degrees as all their internal angles. Um, we also cover things like a, a right angle is 90 degrees. We talk about the isosceles triangle. Kids often, um, no, they equilateral triangles where three sides are the same, three angles are the same, so they'll be 60 degrees each. But with isosceles, two sides are the same, two bottom angles are the same. So, with that knowledge in mind, this here is all possible. So we could work out all of the missing values based on those rules. Um, we, I, we call this a composite angles problem because it's really, um, it's composed, composite, composed of many elements. Um, and it's a bit like a jigsaw. Once you solve one part, it can't, it's kind of leads to a chain reaction that allows you to unlock other problems. So we will say to children, with a more complicated maths problem, start with what you know. So they're always giving you a key to unlock the problem. Start with the easy one. That sounds straightforward, doesn't it? But often people in, in an exam, they go straight to the most complicated bit and they don't think things through logically and calmly. So, on a straight line, we should be looking for 180 degrees. What have we been given? We've been given 122 degrees, so therefore all we've got to do is find the difference to get F. So 180, take 122, 58 degrees. Whoops. We know that this box sign here means 90 degrees. Now, another thing I should mention is, in the exam, in the 11 plus, we are not dealing with protract protractors, okay? There should be no physically measuring of angles. Often, and I include this diagram and this, they're not drawn to scale. If you were to measure these angles, they wouldn't be correct, okay? It's all to do with calculation based on angles rules. Some kids still get a, a protractor out and start trying to measure. We're not doing that. It's all based on angles rules. So then we've got, we know this total, um, the total of these three angles should be 180. We've got 90, 158. So first of all, we work out what we've got. So that's 90 plus 58 is 148. So then if we subtract that from what it should be, which is 180, we get the difference, which is, 32 degrees. So now, what have we got here? If this is 90 degrees, we know it should be 180. We know that this is also 90 degrees. If that's 90 degrees, if we subtract 45, that's half of 90. We know that this should be 45. Can you see how it's getting a lot easier? Now, because of the rule, um, because of the rules, the isosceles triangle, um, we've got two equal sides here, two equal bottom angles. Now we know that this should add up to 180, so we add this and this, that's 90. 90 and 90 make 180, so that has to be 90. Now we're left with one final one. So it's 180 subtract 145 is 135. And there we are. Just by using angles rules, and we can thank great mathematicians of the past like Euclid for this, we can actually work out all of these angles without getting out a protractor once. This is the type of question that you can get in an 11 plus exam. That's not to say that this exact style will come up, but I've seen it before. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Um, like I said, my next one will be aimed at younger students. We're trying to do one for the youngers and one for the olders each week. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Goodbye.